I've been wanting to push Porsche 800 uh, stock for a while. I think I tried it one time earlier in the year, well, last year, and it just didn't. I didn't like the images. I didn't have a good light meter, and I think that was a big part to do with it. So I have a new light meter. I took the Pentax 6x7 down to Folly Beach one morning, and I wanted to push a roll of uh, Porsche 800. And I think, uh, for the most part, the images are... I mean, they're, they're all right. Yeah, there's two images that I really like out of the 10. You know, sometimes you just don't hit, and that's okay. I don't think... I mean, it was good light. It just... I just didn't have it that morning. I think that has a lot to do with it. Probably what I was most excited for for the day was I was shooting my first roll of Fuji Acros 100 Mark II ever. Normally, like, I shoot uh, Ilford HP5. I've shot a couple of Kodak uh, T-Max and Tri-X. And so I wanted to try out this Acros and just see where it fit. You know, it's a low-speed film at 100. So I took it out around 4 o'clock, so it was still bright. I took it down to the new, newly built pier. Uh, just try to get some images. It was <laughs> it was kind of funny because like this is my first time also video and kind of in a public space and it was a little weird uh, having to get over that hump of like video and also take pictures in front of people. But I did it and I got it out of the way and I have to say that I really I really like these images and I really like this film stock. I'm definitely gonna have to shoot them more often. I like the grain. I didn't have to do a lot to it in post, which is always nice. I need to shoot more. I need to shoot more of it to see how it does with different scenes. And again, like the go-to had lately has been HP5. That's just because it's a 400 speed film. You can push it. You can even pull it some uh, to give you kind of different scenes, different different options. So with that 100 speed film. I do think that might limit it a little bit to my go-to, but it's definitely a black and white film stock that would be in the arsenal. So I'm definitely going to be shooting a lot more of it here and try some different scenes out with it. Yeah, so after that roll of Acros, I threw in the good old Portrait 400. And honestly, I shot this at box speed. I enjoy shooting Portrait 400 at box speed. I know a lot of people are like, you know, shoot it one stop over exposed, this and that. Uh, but, you know, the 400... Just as box speed, I really like it. And in this scene, I really wanted the colors in the sky. So I did something a little different that I don't normally do. I metered more towards the highlights than I did the shadows this time around. I just wanted to try it out see how it looked. I wanted to really get those colors and not blow out any of the highlights of the sky. And that's kind of just my reason behind it. And honestly, like when I was shooting it, I wasn't real confident in the images I was getting. I don't know why I just like had this mental block just felt like every time I put my eye up to the to the eyepiece it just never never looked good I was never confident in it but I had already started a shooting roll so I finished it off anyways and I was honestly really happy with a lot of these images I feel like that afternoon session with the Acros and the Portra 400 uh, is kind of why you go out and do it you get a lot of good images have fun with it
something I've been working on for a long time. Uh, I finally have it up and running. It's my print shop. Uh, I finally feel like my images are up to par in the cell and hanging, you know, I hung some in my house. So I want other people to be able to hang some in their house as well. So check the link down below uh, and pick up a print today.